Hi, I'm Jesse with Lolly Low, and today I'm going to talk to you all about how to use your admin dashboard. Um, and I'm just going to show you a few things that you could look at um, to help you plan for your whole school. So when you have an admin dashboard, you'll be able to see all the classes in your school, just like you can see here on mine. Um, and what you can do is you can look into each class to keep track of some of the data, plan for intervention, um, and also maybe plan for professional development um, as well. So one thing that I uh, would recommend doing as an admin is take a look at your classes at your school and see um, who still needs to take the placement test. So the way that you can see who, which classes need to take the placement test, often there will be a banner at the top that you can see that some students are still taking the placement test, but you can also check the tiles. So any students that have all gray tiles all the way across, like this one, you can see that that means that they haven't started yet, so they haven't taken the placement test. So as an administrator, something you might be able to do is gather up all those students from all your classes that have not taken the placement test and help them to make sure that they get started. Uh, that way you can have a really clear picture of all the data that you have in your school. Um, another thing that you could do is take a look through um, one grade level or multiple grade levels and you can look at the comprehension tab to help you determine if you do school-wide intervention um, based on reading levels, um, so like guided reading or anything like that. So I can see in this first grade class that most of my first graders, a few of them you can see here haven't taken the placement test yet, but I can see that I have a few first graders here who are still struggling a little bit with letter D, with level D, and that is something that I would want to address. So um, I can grab these couple of students, this one here, she's stopped here at level D. She hasn't started any of the books beyond that. And this one here, this student has done a great job with this, but I'm still a little bit concerned that they're only at level D um, at this time of the year in first grade. So, and then I can look through and see if there's any other students that have stopped at a level D. This one is stopped at a level E. That's a little bit troubling for me too. So I might add that student to a group as well. Um, and then I can go ahead and take a look at my other first grade class and see if there's any other students who are in the same boat. So again, I go to comprehension and I can look through my reading levels and see if anybody is sort of stuck. And I've got a couple more here that are stuck at level D. So that's a great way for you to go through and be able to find some groupings for um, any intervention that you do. Another thing that you could do is um, use this as an opportunity for some professional development. So if I'm looking through here at my kindergarten classes, um, I can see this, uh, class is actually doing really well with the consonants. There's a few kids that are struggling. You can see a few here that have the red and the yellow, but a lot of these kids are doing really well. Um, and so I might want to have this teacher share, you know, how they're using Lolly Low or what they're doing because I can see that my other kindergarten class is struggling a little bit more. So we can see a lot more red and orange here. So that could be something that these two teachers could get together for a PLC um, and talk through how they're using Lolly Low or what other um, phonics lessons that they're doing, they might be able to collaborate a little bit more to improve that data. As you can see, there's tons and tons of options uh, when you have the admin dashboard. So definitely take a look, and of course, let us know if you have any questions at all.